human species and evolution is and always will be a big puzzle waiting to be solved. So far, we have described almost all of our different ancestors, their origins, their features and their lifestyles along with their tools and language. In this video, we shall describe how these ancestors of ours evolved from being nomads to settlements and togetherness. But before we start, a kind reminder to please check out our other videos on related topics. Enjoy and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Early humans or the early man did not settle anywhere as they were hunter-gatherers, which meant that they moved from place to place in search for food. They did not even know how to build a proper shelter and occasionally took rest under trees or under rocks. After a few thousand years, they started dwelling in caves but never settled. They took shelter in different caves as they still moved and wandered around in search for food. This was during the Paleolithic Age. With the dawn of the Mesolithic Age, they made shelters with the bones of mammoths but their quest for food made it difficult for them to make these caves and shelters their permanent residence. As they grew smarter, they started looking for shelters and caves near water bodies such as rivers and lakes. And as they approached towards the Neolithic Age or the New Stone Age, which was about 10,000 years ago, they started learning the art of cultivation. With this knowledge, they were able to stay in one place and stopped moving. But before that, they had to settle down in places where the soil was fertile for better production of food. Slowly, they started building mud houses to keep themselves warm. One mud house turned to two, two to four, and so on. A 9,500-year-old mud brick house settlement was found at Katalhoyuk that forms a great mound overlooking fields of wheat and melon in the Konya plain of south-central Turkey. And that was the beginning of settlement according to some scientists. But there were still those that dwelt in caves as a choice rather than a necessity. They even found skeletons buried under the houses. In the 1960s, they found more than 400 skeletons which are clustered in honeycomb-like maze which meant that burying the dead under houses was common at early agricultural villages. With the onset of settlement, the community started living under one leader, providing for themselves the three basic necessities, food, clothes and shelter. When the land they settled started giving them trouble with their production, they searched for new locations and as this went on, they discovered that land regained fertility after it was left uncultivated for some years and so they started to cultivate fields by rotation and introduced the meaning of shifting cultivation. Due to this, they again stopped moving around and made the place they settled their permanent residence. With the new agricultural techniques, health started to get better, number of people in a community started multiplying and the number of settlements also started to multiply. Along with this, they also started progressing from building mud houses to building huts and from attached houses to keeping space in between houses for movement. Like I said, they preferred to settle in areas near water bodies for better cultivation. Living by the waters offered them a means of transport and settlements and communities started spreading all across the globe to whichever place that was fit for human survival. With the availability of surplus of food and along with the increase in the number of settlements, the art of commerce was implemented and the first barter system took place. Goods were carried from villages to cities and with more techniques and facilities developing in cities, people started moving there since more labor was required. But major cities weren't developed until the Industrial Revolution and the introduction of proper transport and electricity. So there you have it guys, the evolution of settlement. It all began with a cave to a room, then a house, a neighborhood to a community. Some stayed in the villages and some moved to the cities, which gives us now the rural and the urban settlements. Settlement is still evolving and there are a thousand possibilities of what we will see in another hundred years. 
put the answer to the question as to why our ancestors decided to live as a community and in such close proximity to one another is still yet to be discovered. But whatever brought our ancestors together though, it was enough to keep them together in death as well as in life. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Continue to give us your love and support by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.